12 on Randy here for another Farming Simulator 17 mod review. And this time we have another old iron pack, the Internationals. International Harvester pack. And this is probably the one of the larger packs of the old iron packs here. Quite a few tractors and a couple pieces of equipment as well. So let's uh, get started here. Like I said, quite a few uh, tractors in this uh, pack here. So, International Harvester IH-1026 Hydro Diesel 1970. Different options on this one. I'll go with the 1026 here. The demonstrator, I think that has kind of the more brownish texture on it, if I remember correctly. Horse oh, there's a horsepower difference too. Okay, so good to know. 124 versus 135. Let's do singles on this one, sure. Oh, with hubs. Open station, ROPS, ROPS with canopy, hanker cab, or the ice cream box cab. Let's go open state. Oh, a diamond cab. Diamond cab on this one. Let's go open station on this one. We'll try a couple different options here. International 1256 turbo diesel. Got 1256, and again, the demonstrator. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll get one with the demonstrator. And a little more horsepower there. Let's put uh, duels. How about with a diamond cab on this one? Next, 1456 diesel. And let's go with the, I kind of, again, like the uh, red color on there. And let's do duels on this one. How about the diamond cab again? A little bit bigger track than 145 horsepower. You know, and look at the price tag too. Can't go wrong in that 145 horsepower, 16,000. Nice, uh, cheap tractor to get started with. Again, keep in mind, smaller tractors, so you're not going to be using any big equipment, at least in-game equipment with these tractors. International, 4166. Cab or ROPS? Interesting. Let's get one with the ROPS. See what it'll look like. Uh, 4186 with cab, sure. Uh, 4366. Now we're getting a little bit bigger here. Singles, duels, definitely duels. Don't look right, in my opinion, without with uh, just singles on them. Uh, 4586. Oh, we're talking some serious horsepower here, too. Duels, 300 horsepower. I forgot to look. How much horsepower was the other one here? This one was 225, so not too bad. This one, 150. Again, getting a little bit larger there. Uh, 86 series, four-wheel drive. Duels, 350 horsepower. Now we're talking... An 88 series, Getting bigger here. What do we got? 330. It's actually, less horsepower on that one. Okay. Let's do duels again. Probably running out of space here pretty quick. Okay, the complete 66 series, and it seems like I could be wrong here, but there's a little bit of overlap with these uh, tractors. So, we got a 766. Seven, oh, the black stripe. Christine. 966. 1066. 1466. And a 1566. So let's go, how about a 1466 wheel setup? And sure, rear twins. Open station. 68. What a 68 black stripe. Canopy. Uh, wheel setup, rear twins. It's going to tell me I'm out of space here any moment. Uh, the complete 66 series again. I don't know what the difference between these two are. Um, let's get about a 1066 with Black Stripe Deluxe Cab. Oh, if we're going to get Black Stripe Deluxe Cab, let's put the Black Stripe on there then too. Wheel setup, sure. Uh, just twins. And, yeah, we'll just go with standard on this one. Oh, there we go. We're out of space. Okay, let's uh, move some equipment here. So we got quite a few tractors sitting over here. Like I said, this is probably the largest pack of tractors on the old iron packs. And this is the, uh, kind of like I said, the brownish. I don't know what color this is really supposed to be, the demonstrator. This doesn't quite look right in my opinion. I'm, I'm used to the Red Internationals, so. I'll move a couple of these forward here. Kind of get a quick sneak peek here. And again, I will have a link in the uh, description there below for these tractors if you want to check them out. Definitely 
definitely worth checking out this pack if you like the older equipment. Now both the Farmall pack here and the International pack are really good in my opinion. There's a different color red on this tractor. I don't know if that's the way they are in real life or not. I don't know if they just got the color red a little wrong. Or maybe the color red on the other tractors is quite right. Yeah, I'm thinking neither of the reds is quite right, to be honest, actually. Looking at these, I'm thinking the red on here isn't quite red enough, and the red on here is maybe a little too red. That could be the way it is. Now we're talking a little bit bigger track here. 4366. Oh, hey, you like that little... Let me yeah, do that again here. Get back into this one. Get that little uh, exhaust cap there, rain cap. We first started up. Nice touch. Nice touch. Seven sixty-six. Ooh, that one has two things. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's, hopefully, that's enough space here. That one, I guess, was right. And we said what? We're gonna go with a ten sixty-six black stripe. Standard with the Black Stripe Deluxe Cab. Actually, what were the other cab options on this one here, by the way? Deluxe Cab, Red Deluxe Cab, White Deluxe Cab, no cab. Okay. Fleet 68 Series. So 1468 and a 1568. Go 1568 duels with a Red Deluxe Cab. All kinds of options here, so of course I'm not going to be buying every option. Uh, I don't know if you can even do that with all these tractors here. There's just so many options. Uh, 756 diesel row crop. Uh, let, sure, let's put a front loader on one of these. Open station, diamond cab. Uh, let's do open station on this one. An 826 diesel row crop. Engine setup, gear drive. Gear drive demonstration, let's... Eh, hydro, sure. That actually does anything as far as horsepower doesn't look like it. Let's do hub duels, open station, diamond cab, tinker cab, sure. An 856 row crop. How about clamp duels, tri ribs with. Drops of canopy. And an 86 series tri stripe. The last up here finally. Uh, 1586 tri stripe. Sure, with singles, hub duels. Sure, we'll go with hub duels. Okay, then under, I think it's under cultivators here. We have the Glencoe chisel plows, the six and a half meter one, and then a smaller, was this four meter? 4.2 meters, it says. And then under plows, I'm not quite sure why those are under plows, by the way. Those uh, soil savers, Glencoe soil savers, are considered plows in the game. Uh, we have an international six bottom semi mounted, what oh, the rest of that says, semi mounted something. <laughs> Be a three point hitch, I'm sure. Plow. Six bottom. And let's see what's here. I think we have some weights. Oh, and there's front loader attachments as well, I believe. International loader bucket. White bucket, red bucket. Uh, let's get the red bucket. Now we got at least one tractor with a uh, loader on it, so. And finally, weights. We got some international weights here, so let's get. Uh, sure, we'll get one of those. I'm going to tell me I'm out of space here again pretty quick. Okay, double check. I think that is everything here. Looking down the list. Yes, I think I've got everything. Uh, my apologies if I missed something here, but uh, I think I got everything. Oh, and we looked like we just had enough space here. That one uh, is in the ground. Interesting. Oh, well. Anyway, oh, I think my frame rate may have took a little dive here. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Got loading up everything here, I guess. One surprise me with this many tractors. So let's start. Uh, I think this is the first one we bought. International 1206. Very nicely done. Has the same gauges as the internationals. 
Now three point hitch on this one again. Nicely, nicely done. You're not overly detailed, but nice clean design. You know, sometimes I think you can go just a little too much and it just doesn't look right, right? So, let's see, this is the diamond cap, I believe, right? Yeah, it kind of has that bowed out shape. I guess they call that the diamond cab. Uh, not particularly familiar with the internationals myself, at least not all the model numbers and styles and whatnot. Uh, international 1456. And very nicely done. I don't have the uh, farm walls loaded, but it'd be interesting to uh, purchase the farm wall, put it up against this, see what's what the difference is. Probably almost identical, other than maybe a uh, different front grille design, and obviously different cabs. Don't think the uh, Armals had the diamond cab option. Didn't I purchase one of these without a cab? Not. Thought I did. Anyway, International 4166. Playing on the cab here, as far as gauges go, anyway. All-wheel steering, so it's not articulated, by the way. This is not an articulated tractor. Something to uh, keep in mind here. You know, some of those of you out there don't like the articulated tractors. These are all-wheel steering. At least when they all are. Actually, some of the bigger ones probably actually, yeah. That, then we get to the articulated. The smaller ones here are all-wheel. We got a little bit uh, playing on the engine there, but nothing particularly wrong with that. Yeah, three point on the back. Looks like something's not quite right there with the red. Like okay, maybe it was borrowed after off of one of the other tractors here. Uh farm all 3666. Getting a little bit bigger here. 4366. No three point on this one. Good to know. That might uh, limit you on some of the in-game equipment there. That uses a yeah, three point hookup. 4568. 568. Yeah, no three-point on this one either. And yes, I like that uh, startup sound. Very nicely done. Yeah, and a little bit... Well, actually, the engine on this one actually looks pretty good. The rest of the uh, exterior is maybe a little bit plain, but... No, very plain cab. Very plain. Not going to complain about that, though. And again, for those of you who play third person most of the time, not going to bother you a bit. <laughs> Nothing in the cab. Uh, 4786. Oh, fan on the uh, engine there. Interesting. Not bad, though. And no uh, three-point. Cab leaves a lot to be desired if you're going to drive first person. And yes, I thought I got one of these uh, without a cab. Let's, I guess not. Can I purchase another one here? Or is it going to complain about space? And I thought I'd gotten one of these without a cab. Yeah, no delivery space. I wonder ROPS, does that actually, oh, so ROPS still has the cab on it yet, maybe? I wonder if that's what that means. I was assuming cab would mean no cab on it, period. He wants here. Maybe I move these two back over here. Whoa, look at the stacks on this puppy. Okay, then. An interesting design there, the way the cab overhangs the back. We'll get to those in a minute. If I say just ROPS. Yes, okay. Apparently that has ROPS over the cab. So that's what that means. Good to know. I'll just uh, sell the extra one here a moment so we don't uh, get confused. Yeah, two of those will just uh, whoop. sell the extra one here. Okay, where were we at? Down at the end here. Okay, moving on to the next one here. International 70, 788. I think this was the 130 horsepower. The one in front there, I think it said 350 horsepower. Seems a little high for that size tractor, but again, leaves a lot to be desired in the cab, that's for sure. Front end design. Interesting. Articulated, of course. Uh, no axle in there. Like I said, very plain on the design on this one, that's for sure. Not bad, though. Not bad. 
Uh, let's see, what's point fourteen sixty six here. And looks good. Oh, a little bit different gauges on this one, and nicely done too. We got some weights here. Let's catch these tractors. We can. Now, it seems like there should be actual weights on here. I wonder. Add weight. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we got weight. I wonder if that actually changes anything or is it just visual? Oh, yeah. It definitely seems like the front end is a little more tippy with that on there. So something to keep in mind, and I think I missed that on one of the other packs there as well. I was kind of scratching my head. It's like, wait a minute. That's all there is to it. Probably there was an additional button there. I probably had to press farmalls. don't remember what other pack. It probably was the farmalls that had a weight on them as well. Oh yeah, a little bit different sound in this. This one, plant duels. Tires seem awfully close together. Very interesting. Yeah, the dual stacks there. Not sure I like that or not. It looks cool, but okay. Moving down the list here, back to the other end. Got the International 1066. Bought the black stripe cab. Black stripe all the way around. You can see it has a black stripe on it as opposed to the white stripe. Interesting, too, how the cab kind of seems like it way overhangs the back end. Next, a 1568. Twin stacks. And a lot of chrome. Like we're missing some levers in the cab here. Seems like there's some hydraulic levers or something, but whatever. Nicely done. Well, the front window is actually kind of set in, so it's square. Okay, next. International loader. Oh, speaking of that, where is the bucket for this? Oh, there it is. Let's put the bucket on in a moment. See how much this bucket holds. 2,460, so that's yeah, actually about the same as the in-game bucket, a little more there. Kind of what you uh, bucket you get, actually. Okay, works. Not much else to say about that, I don't think. Oh, back to that style gauge again as well. Okay. And I'm not sure how, you know, necessarily accurate all of these tractors are. I'm sure the mod author kind of has the generic model and they just kind of went and changed it from each one. So these probably aren't exactly right from each tractor, but you know, it gives you access to that tractor in the game here. That's pretty cool. Lights up on the cab. I know some people don't like those style lights, but... And yeah, they look kind of cool, at least for a screenshot, anyway. Oh, a canopy. Fifty-six. Fifteen eighty-six. Red power. And I must have gotten this one with a black stripe on it, I take it. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see a little bit different on the uh, cab there. Getting a little more open with the glass. Oh, different style in the uh, cab here as well. Okay. A lot more modern. A lot more modern. Dual uh, PT on the back there looks like. Interesting. Very nice. And then, of course, we got the uh, six and a half meter chisel plow on uh, the 4.2 meter one, which is brown for some reason. And we got a six bottom plow with coulters. Nice. Uh, almost like I'm missing texture on there. I could be wrong. Maybe they are supposed to be white like that. I don't know. 
It definitely won't stay light, uh, white for long once you start plowing them. That'll take the paint right off. Nice and shiny silver. Anyway, I think we're already at this point. So, grab a tractor here, put it on one of the chisel plows. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that one out of the ground or not. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Oh, we do have a field right across from us. Oh, no, we I'm going to take it out there and just uh, do a little plowing with it here quick. And again, for those of you who watch my videos, you've actually seen me use this equipment before. At least the, uh, the Glencoe chisel plow here. I probably haven't used all of these tractors yet. Obviously, quite a few tractors. But I have used a couple of them, and they all seem to work nicely. There we go. And like I said, this does count as a plow, even though it is in the cultivator category. Not sure if that was just an oversight of the mod author or what happened there, but our plow. Okay, back to the shop here. Anyway, folks, I think that'll wrap it up for this a mod review. Quite a long one. Uh, like I said, quite a few tractors to cover here. Again, most of them are very nicely looking. A few of them are quite basic, especially some of the bigger four-wheel drives there. Not uh, terrible. Uh, definitely gives you some options to some bigger tractors as well. 4766 here. Uh, you know, even the 1586 here, kind of a decent-sized tractor. And again, just keep in mind, you're probably going to want some modded equipment to go with them. Uh, some of the in-game equipment is probably not going to be the best choice for these tractors. Uh, you got to like the dual stacks as well. At least to some extent, anyway. Anyway, with that, uh, like I said, we'll wrap up the video here. Uh, again, a reminder, link in the description below if you'd like to download these tractors. Comes as all one pack. Uh, keep in mind, you'll need to extract that. Comes with all the mods in one zip file. And you need to extract that and put that in your mod folder. So that, uh, folks, have any other comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.